coronavirus 2019 that is COVID-19 has been declared a pandemic by World Health Organization and across globe, COVID-19 has claimed more than 25 million casualties and 1.9 million deaths. After the first reported case in Wuhan city of China, soon disease has spread across globe affecting more than 200 countries. On 30th January, Kerala reported India's first COVID-19 case and by April 24th, nationwide, more than 24,000 cases have been reported. Tools of molecular biology and genomics have identified SARS coronavirus 2 as the causal pathogen. It contains membrane glycoprotein, nucleocapsid protein, single positive stranded RNA consisting of nearly 30,000 nucleotide, enveloped proteins and spike proteins. Studies have identified that virus spike proteins interact with host cell receptor angiotensin converting enzyme that is ACE2. ACE2 is present on respiratory and intestinal cells, while a spike protein binds with ACE2 and thereby infect humans. Most infected individuals experience fever, dry cough, breathing difficulties and tiredness. Researchers are using rapid and accurate detection methods of RT-QPCR to identify virus in patient sample. For this, nasopharyngeal samples are collected from suspected cases. Then isolated patient's RNA is converted into complementary DNA population. Subsequently, a fluorescent probe specific for SARS coronavirus 2 sequence is added to the reaction. Whenever sample contains SARS coronavirus 2, the probe emits signal confirming the positive case of COVID-19. Next generation technology is unraveling the precise and detailed genetic information of positive COVID-19 cases. This is achievable by both nucleic acid hybridization capture-based assays as well as amplification-based enrichment for SARS coronavirus 2. All these applications require the workflow of sample preparation, library preparation, sequencing and data analysis. Here we briefly discuss the amplification-based approach. Nasopharyngeal swab from COVID-19 patient is processed for RNA isolation followed by cDNA synthesis. Subsequently, multiplex PCR is performed to produce stretches of short amplicon. Further samples are processed for library preparation and sequenced on high-throughput platforms such as Illumina MySeq and Oxford Nanopore. Obtained reads are aligned and mapped on the reference genomic sequence of SARS coronavirus 2. Data analysis of different patient samples help in identifying the sequence similarities and variations. Phylogenetic analysis of obtained patient sequence had allowed the researchers to trace back the origin of COVID-19 to bats. Application of next generation sequencing are assisting in effective vaccine development, in identifying drug development targets and in understanding COVID-19 epidemiology. National Genomics Corps CDFD, is proud to contribute in global mission of combating COVID-19 together.